the provisional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and that dead generation from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for freedom. Having organised and trained her manhood to her secret revolution organisations, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and to her openly military organisations, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having resoundly waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment. And supported by her exiled children in America and by her gallied allies in Europe, but relying and forced on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefensible. The long expression of, the, of that right by a foreign people and government has not extinguished that right, nor can it ever be extinguished, except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they have asserted in it in arms, standing on the fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world. We herbally proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign independent state and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare and of its exhalation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and herbally claims the allegiance of every Irish man and every Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberties equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens and declares its resolve to pursue its happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts, cherishing all of our children of the nation equally and obliquely, the difference carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided the minority from the majority in the past until our arms brought this opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government, represented of the whole people of Ireland and elected by the suffragettes of her men and women. The provisional government herbally constitutes will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in the trust of the people. We pace the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our arms. And we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonour it by cowardliness, inhumane or repaying. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must by its valour and discipline and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy to the just destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDermott, Thomas McDonough, P. Herrick Pierce, Eamon Kant, James Conley, and Joseph Plunkett. Good radical.